Have you been thinking about switching to a low fat, low salt, low sugar, whole foods, plant-based diet? Have you heard about the benefits of a vegan diet and are wondering if it's right for you? If you can even sustain it? Perhaps you would like to prevent heart disease, heal your gut biome, lose weight, or prevent cancer. Perhaps you would just like to feel good, feel really, really good while helping your health. If so, I'd like to tell you why we started 7410 Style. My family and I were eating the normal Western diet and thinking we were pretty healthy. Sure, we would venture into exotic cuisines like Chinese, Korean, Texas Roadhouse, and Chipotle. But for the most part, we ate beef, chicken, hamburgers, salmon, pepperoni, hot dogs, rice or potatoes, and some token veggies. We aren't smokers, so quitting smoking was easy. We used to drink a lot of soda and diet soda, but in the last few years, we were trying to drink more water and less sugary drinks and juices. We also worked out, not for hours in a day, but at least five days a week, and we were proud of our healthy lifestyle. What we couldn't figure out is why our cholesterol was so high, my husband was on a heart medicine, why I had intense stomach pains at times, why I had to get a colonoscopy every three years, but my friend was every 10 years, why my son had a large weird rash under his arm, why he had debilitating abdominal pains at times. But we were managing our pains and ailments and we thought this is just part of getting older. Little did we know that our whole worldview was about to explode. Get this, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, reports that six out of 10 American adults have at least one chronic disease, including cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Four out of 10 American adults have at least two or more concurrent chronic diseases. Say what? Does that seem a little odd to you? As a country, the United States spends a whole lot of money on healthcare, especially compared to other countries. I can tell you that my family pays a lot for health care, as do my parents. We should be in tip-top perfect health. After all, I'm not going to spend a ton of money on what's supposed to be the fastest, sportiest car, only for it to turn out to be a rusted out junker that putt-putts along. Before my husband and I started researching, I would say that we were aware of healthy foods and healthful eating, we worked out. I was always reading nutrition articles and magazines and online. I thought that we were at least semi-healthy. That is until I started listing out the things we ate. My husband and I grew up with the USDA's food pyramid. Yes, that old thing. It is now my plate, which is much easier to follow except for that questionable dairy food group. I grew up with some deeply held beliefs about food. The food pyramid was reinforced at home, but meat was the main attraction. Don't forget the staples of the American diet. Fried chicken, cheese and pepperoni pizza, cheeseburgers, ham sandwiches, hot dogs, bacon and eggs, and to celebrate, a big grilled steak. I loved dairy. We drank regular milk and chocolate milk. We all thought it was healthy for us. Calcium for growing bones. Butter on toast, butter on everything because it tasted so good. I grew up with mostly home-cooked meals. Eating out was a treat and usually a hamburger or steak. I constantly fought weight gain. Working out and reducing calories was my method, but my cholesterol levels kept climbing. All through my teenage and adult years, I would have bouts of extreme stomach pain where I would have to lie on my stomach on the floor with a fist in my stomach to try to relieve the pain. I tried every type of Pepto-Bismol, Alka-Seltzer, peppermint oil remedy that I could find. Nothing worked. It finally got so bad that as I spent a night throwing up on the bathroom floor, my husband took me to the emergency room early the next morning. My gallbladder was infected, was hard as a rock, and was amputated the next day. Of course, I thought that was it. I must have had a gallbladder problem since I was a kid. The gallbladder is a small pear-shaped organ located under the liver. It stores and releases bile. That's the fluid your liver makes up 
to help digest fats in the food you eat. When your gallbladder is removed, you get a list of what to eat and what not to eat to help your body adjust, and tips like cutting back on fatty foods. To help my body adjust to the surgery, my husband and I went on a pescatarian plus diet, still eating eggs and dairy products like cheese. We cut out all meat. Haven't you heard that salmon is good for your heart? We had too. Conventional wisdom says salmon is good for the heart, eggs provide great protein, cheese provides calcium and protein. So we kept them in our diet. But we didn't realize how much fat was in these foods, the cost to our arteries, or that there are better alternatives. The next thing that rocked our world was my mom's heart attack. Sure, she's 80 years old. Six in 10 adults have a chronic disease, remember? So it shouldn't be a shock that she would have a heart attack. But I was not expecting it. My mom takes good care of herself. She visits the doctor for regular checkups. She is not overweight, though she would probably tell you she is. She has managed her diabetes for the past 30 years. She loves vegetables. She minimizes sugar, and she and my dad have worked hard to minimize salt. They ate meat for dinner, eggs only occasionally, milk with cereal, an occasional roast beef sandwich, and they too love the exotic tastes of Texas Roadhouse. My mom went to her doctor on a Thursday. She checked out great, blood work fine, all systems go, keep up the good work. That next Tuesday, let me do the math for you. Five days later, she started throwing up in the morning, felt awful, knew something was wrong, and went to the emergency room. She was having a heart attack. This resulted in open heart bypass surgery. I was there when her surgeon told her she was good to go for the next 80 years. Keep eating what you've been eating. This incident totally stunned me. My mom is a perfect patient. She works out at the gym. She does what the doctor tells her to do. She has a system for taking her medication and making sure dad gets his. She was the last person I expected to have a heart attack. This made me question everything I thought I knew. As my husband and I were trying to learn more about heart disease, just by chance, Dr. Esselstyn's video on preventing and reversing heart disease came up on YouTube. We watched it and our minds were blown. We had no idea that so many studies, especially groundbreaking studies on nutrition, diet, and chronic diseases had been done pointing to the benefits of a whole foods plant-based diet. Putting together my mom's current expensive health care, regular doctor visits, pills, surgery, and the result, a lot of time in the hospital and a long, slow recovery, along with Dr. Esselstyn's information, just did not add up to us. To add to our health issues, our Yorkie started throwing up, having diarrhea, then bloody diarrhea. After his emergency room visit, we found out that he had pancreatitis and was put on a super strict, you need a prescription for his food, very low fat diet. Once he finished up his prescription diet, we tried to transition him back to his regular diet. Sure enough, he started throwing up and having diarrhea again. If we had any doubts about what Dr. Esselstyn was saying, my husband and I were fully and absolutely convinced that we had to at least try out a low SOS, salt oil sugar, whole foods, plant-based diet. Our process to come up with 7410 style was to reflect, research, and accumulate knowledge. Commit, then refine or iterate based on experience. Reflecting is about internal inquiry, probing and questioning the whys, wants, and needs of you. Not your partner, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, kids, or friends, you. We each considered our goals and lifestyle. We thought about our favorite foods and why they were our favorites. Did we eat when we were bored or depressed? Snack mindlessly while watching a video? When out of time, did we go through the drive-through? After commuting, was it easier to go out to eat? 
yes to all of those questions. However, were there ways to compensate for being tired or in a rush but still eat healthily? Was my goal to live a healthier and longer life? Do I want to prevent cancer, diabetes, and other diseases? Do I want to feel content after eating but not bloated or in pain? Do I want to feel more energetic? Do I want to eat for my nutrition and not take vitamins? Do I want to eat for my health and not take cholesterol-lowering medications? Get this, do you want to eat until you're full but lose weight? What happened to starving yourself to look like a model? One of our goals is that we want to prevent heart disease because we saw what it had done to my husband's parents and what it was doing to my parents. Eating meat and dairy while balancing the effects of fat with pills have real devastating consequences. And the long, slow recovery from any heart-related surgery where you can't even lift eight pounds is just not worth that cheeseburger, no matter how juicy. Thank goodness my dad is in remission from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but I know that I do not want to experience the cycle of chemotherapy, steroids, and vomiting that he went through. Our goal for 7410 style is to let food be our medicine, to be healthy and have a sense of well-being, both physical and mental. We don't want to have to take a bunch of medicines with scary side effects, and we want to age well. Make no mistake, it's a lifestyle change, not just a diet change. We've had a hundred years of food industry advertising, conventional wisdom, social norms, a lot of myths. It's not easy to make a change with all those long held beliefs. With 7410 style, we want to show that an average family can make the change to a low SOS, salt, oil, sugar, whole foods, plant-based diet. We were looking for the healthy alternatives because the Western diet and Western medicine were not working for me or my family. We found that it was going to have to be seven days a week, no cheat days, if we wanted the 10 body and the 10 mind. I don't mean a 10 in the supermodel sense, but rather healthy, optimally functioning systems from the arteries to the colon to the heart to the brain. But we could only do that after some self-reflection, researching the possibilities and accumulating knowledge, committing, then refining what we had learned based on our experiences. And now we're sharing our story because the benefits have been amazing. We are living 7410 style and want to show you that you can do it too. Just remember to take it one day at a time until it's seven days a week, forever 10.